Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a full face of first impressions. I haven't done one of these in forever, mostly because I haven't done one of anything in forever. But this especially I haven't done in a really long time. I feel like there's never really a time where the stars align and I have like new products in every category. But I figure since today that is true, I have new products for pretty much everything. There's probably like one or two things that I'm missing, but like majority of the things are new. I figured this is the perfect time to do it. Obviously, I am in a new setup at the moment. This is my first time testing this out, so please forgive me if anything is off. I kind of just switched everything around. I moved like I told you guys I wanted to do, and so that's that's what we're working with right now. I really like the way that it looks so far, and I feel like even the lighting looks way better than when I was over there. But, I mean, you guys be the judge. You let me know what you think. Also, my hair, I couldn't um, be bothered with it. So, this is what we're working with. And I'm not really, I'm not really sorry about it, to be honest. You guys know how lazy I am, okay? You know. You already know. So, let's just jump into the products. The first thing that I'm going to do is, of course, prime my face. I do already have my eyebrows on because I don't have anything new for that. This is actually the newest product that I have, which is the Fenty Beauty MV MVP Brow Pencil. Brow MVP. One of those two things. And I already have tried it like 27 times. I wear it every single day. I'm obsessed with it. So the first thing I'm going to be trying out is the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer. I used to have the pore filling primer and I swear it looked exactly like this, but I could be a liar. Um, but this says oil and shine control. That's all I need out of my life. I saw that this had really good reviews on Sephora.com, so I have high hopes. Mm. It just looks kind of like a lotion. Can you guys see that? I don't know if that actually zoomed in or not, but let's just, let's just hope it did. It actually feels really nice on the skin, but it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. The foundation that we're going to be trying today is like sort of new. I mean, all the first impressions already came out on this. It's been out for a couple of weeks, but I haven't personally tried it and I've had it in my collection pretty much since it launched. I just haven't tried it because I wanted to do it on camera. So I'm going to be trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this 27 times already. Um, but I got the color 370W. I have no idea if this is going to match me or not. But we'll see together, I guess. Like I said, I do have stupid oily skin. So I am kind of I don't know, kind of nervous to see how this is going to work for me. I have heard that this is extremely luminous and I like some luminous foundations like the Fenty Beauty one. I I love that foundation. So I'm I'm excited. I mean, we will see. I love the packaging, except that this <laughs> this is kind of throwing me off. Like why are you screaming at me? I know what you are. Oh, it's runny. <laughs> oh, she's runny. Okay. No problem. And this also looks a little on the darker side of the spectrum but that's okay my face is also really white I think you can actually tell a little bit in this lighting my face is always just really white compared to the rest of me I think it's just because I exfoliate like a monster it's like all I do with myself is exfoliate so I did three pumps so I'm not gonna do any more I don't know we'll see I don't even know what the coverage on this is supposed to be like um, and I'm not going to be wearing it like all day or anything. It's like 7 o'clock at night right now. So basically, this is just what we're living with. This is kind of a darker color, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a little dark for sure. I could have used something lighter. I just picked my shade really quickly online. I didn't really pay attention. So I am going to prime my eyes. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I just got this little like sample from Sephora. I've already used this and I know that I love it. But, like, they were going to give me a sample. Like, I, I'm going to take it. It's so, it's so adorable. Look at this. So, this, like I said, is not a new product. But I'm going to be trying a new eyeshadow palette anyway. So, I figure I should be using something that I'm familiar with, right? You know, I probably should have done that with my face primer also. But, who thinks? Not me. So I just zoomed you in a bit so we can get started on the eyeshadow. I am so excited for this eyeshadow palette. I have actually so many eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to try out. But this one, hands down, was the one I was the most excited about. This is the Beauty Bay and Me, Myself, and Mitchell palette. I am so excited. You probably saw me actually using the mirror earlier that comes inside the palette. Um, but I'm so excited. This color story, like 
just is my life and I feel like on a spiritual level like we are just one person seriously yeah, I cannot wait oh my god I didn't even realize that everything starts with the letter M there's a color named milkshake how cute is that okay you guys are probably like why are you so hype about milkshake but milkshake is the name of one of my dogs I'll put a picture of her over here she's so cute I love her so much so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the shade Manchester which is the first shade in the palette ah uh, can I get it together or is that not an option? So I'm just taking the shade Manchester, which is this yellow shade right in the corner. And I'm using a Timeless Angeles 203 brush. I'm just, okay. I'm just throwing this in there. Messily. I'm going for something pretty bright <laughs> and colorful, so. I'm just kind of winging it out at the end there. It's not really wing. It's literally just doing that. Just doing one of those little motions. The next shade I'm going to take is the shade Mental, which I love that name. It's just this bright orange shade. I feel like the camera is not doing these colors justice. They are so bright and vivid. I'm so happy about the fact that this is mostly mattes. Like, there are only seven shimmers. No, eight shimmers. Eight shimmers in the entire palette. And how many colors are in here? Like 30 something? That's amazing. So I'm just gonna grab the shade Mental. I'm using a Morphe M433 brush. And I'm gonna just focus this more directly into the crease that is all the way pigmented. That's really, that's really intense. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to throw that in there. So now I'm going to go into the shade Morgan, which is all the way down here. It's this kind of medium purple shade. And I'm going to be using a ColourPop E6 um, angled brush with this color. And I'm kind of just going to start mapping out where I want my cut crease to be because that's what we're doing today is a cut crease. Are you surprised? You should be. I've never done a cut crease on my channel ever in my life, ever. I just feel like the combo of purple orange and yellow is like the reason I exist I mean like that's is that dramatic no actually it's very much how I feel <laughs> grabbing a Morphe M562 brush it looks just like a Sigma E36 brush except I mean honestly it looks exactly the same but <laughs> except nothing it looks just the same I'm just gonna take Morgan again which is that purple shade that we were just using and just start blending this out i love brushes like this for cut creases i think you guys know this already they are my favorite because they let you blend okay that's not cute <laughs> they let you blend but concentrate the color rather than just blending all over the place I'm going to start with motto and just see what happens. So this is the shade motto and I'm taking that with the same color pop E6 brush, the angled brush we were just using and just going basically right on top of where I put that Morgan shade. That color is really nice and deep. Maybe I don't need to use black. I mean, you guys know how I feel about a black eyeshadow. I'm all about black eyeshadow all the time yeah we're gonna grab the black so the shade mafia that's the black in the palette right up here and i'm just gonna take it again with the same angled brush and i want to be very light-handed with this i don't want this to look like it's black i just want it to look like it's very very dark purple if that makes any sense which obviously that shade motto is a dark purple but i just want it darker than that that's just that's what I want. So again, grabbing that skinny little Morphe M562. I'm going to take Motto, which is the darker purple, and just blend out that line. Hopefully one last time. And this time I'm keeping it right, like, right, 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 right there on that line. I don't want to blend upwards really at all. I just kind of want to keep that color right there. I don't want it. Once you start blending this too high up, you're going to 
be muddy. So now I'm gonna grab an Urban Decay brush. It just says Urban Decay Shadow. I swear this came with the first Naked palette. And I'm gonna take my Anastasia primer again and just kind of clean up right underneath the crease. Look at this, look how pigmented that is. I usually use MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but I've been out of that for a minute now. And this will do just to fine. This brush, it's not really precise enough. I'm gonna grab an angled brush by BH Cosmetics. Maybe that'll work. I'm thinking on the lid, I want to do just that yellow Manchester shade that we used in the crease to begin with. So and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking a ColourPop E4 flat brush and I'm just gonna throw it all over the lid. I Sometimes I do a gradient with my cut creases, but I'm just feeling yellow right now. So that's what I'm doing. And then we'll finally be done with the cut crease portion of the eyes. Honestly, like my eyeshadow always takes me 35 years. This yellow is okay. It's not my favorite color in the palette. I definitely think that the purples and the orange worked better. But I do also know that yellow is a difficult shade to make. So finally, the eyeshadow is done. Well, the, the eyeshadow on the top of the lid is done. I am going to do a wing liner now. So for my eyeliner, I'm trying out the Huda Beauty Life Liner. I'm going to be using this for my liquid liner and for my pencil liner because it is double sided it does have a pencil on the bottom so i'm going to put that in my waterline at some point and then this is the liquid liner oh that's upside down i didn't know what this was gonna look like oh it's a little brush i'm so happy i thought this was like a felt tip eyeliner and i you guys know if you saw my lady gaga my house labs video which if you didn't i'll link it right up here I do not like felt tip eyeliners. I do like the House Labs one though, a lot. I was very impressed by that. But usually I don't like felt tip eyeliners. Oh, that's black. Oh yeah, that's dark. That's a dark one. It's a very small brush, smaller than my favorite, which is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. The brush is like a lot shorter than that. So I feel like it might even give you more of a like precise application, more control over what you're doing. Oh, I like this so far. I actually don't even know if this dries down matte or not. I don't remember even reading whether or not it dries down matte, so we're gonna see together, I guess. Okay, first of all, I love that. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna dry down matte. It's like obviously I just applied it right now, but like I love that. That was that is probably one of the nicest wings I've ever applied in my life. I am I am happy. So I actually really love this. I mean I at least love the liquid liner side so far, and it does have a brush tip. It's just a little bit shorter than the NYX liquid liner side. I did mess this side up, but I'm gonna fix it with concealer in about 45 seconds this mold that I'm sure you guys have seen it um, transfers eyeshadow up into my cut creases all the time so I just have to be constantly fixing it so I'm just gonna zoom you out a dash so that we can move on to face this is the dose of colors meet your hue concealer this is the only concealer that they have um, I did try out their foundation and I'm obsessed with it I think if you have like really really oily skin like I do you are gonna love that concealer so I mean that foundation so I was so excited to see that she was launching concealers and this looks like it's way too light this is the shade 16 which I thought was gonna be it's called 16 medium tan so I thought it was gonna be deeper than this so I'm just gonna start all right that's um that's light <laughs> it's real light 
I'm just gonna start applying it. You know, I'm just gonna do my, my under eyes for now. This is like, this is not medium tan, okay? I'll tell you that. You know what? It's fine. We have dramatic eyes. We'll have dramatic under eyes. Like, we'll just be, we'll just be dramatic today. It's not a big deal. That blended out really nicely and it has pretty damn good coverage. Can you see that? That reminds me a lot of Shape Tape. Wait just a second. That reminds me a lot of Shape Tape, like a lot. I think this dries down pretty quickly, so I'm glad that I didn't put it like every, everywhere else on my face where I would usually put it because that would have been bad. You know, the Anastasia foundation, it kind of has like a medium coverage and then this concealer has like really full coverage. I don't know if I like the combo together. So before I go in and set my under eyes, I do want to use this new product, which is also by Huda Beauty. This is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. It's a contour and bronzer cream. I don't really think that this is new, but it's new to me. But this is what it looks like. I got the shade medium. I'm excited because, uh, well, it looks exciting. Therefore, I'm excited. So this is the Morphe R10. This is my favorite contour brush ever. I'm just gonna dip it in here. Oh God. I'm nervous <laughs> and I'm just gonna okay like <laughs> um I like an aggressive contour and all but I don't want a violent contour you know like aggressive is fine maybe even passive aggressive is better but actually, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I like that. I'm actually gonna take like a dash more. Just kind of spread it on both sides. Because obviously I have issues and I need to do that. I wonder if you can use this over powder because obviously I usually, that is nice. Oh man, why did I pick up more? I didn't want to pick up more. Okay, so I guess we're gonna put this over here because it's supposed to be a contour and a bronzer. This isn't a brush that I would typically use to bronze, but you know, we already started. I'm not getting a different brush. <laughs> Please, okay. Oh no. You just wait a second because I think I like this. This side I think looks good. This side looks muddy and kind of patchy like right there. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about because the lights are probably washing it out. But there is like a patch right there. It doesn't, it's like not picking up any product. I'm just gonna grab my concealer brush that I used for underneath my eyebrows that you guys did not see, obviously, and just kind of fix this eyeliner situation. The powder I'm gonna be using today is also like, not really new, but I haven't tried it. No, I lied to you. I tried it one time, but I don't really remember what happened that one time. <laughs> so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I really prefer getting my powders in translucent rather than a color that's just like that's just me that's just how I feel so I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and bathe in the powder <laughs> you know like you always do you always Dave and you always Dave oh my god I hate myself you always bathe in powder so I'm just gonna take a small brush and wipe away that powder Oh yeah. So that definitely does have some color to it, even though it's the translucent shade. You can see it's like leaving a cast there. 
I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I do know I don't like it. Between my eyebrows, that looks crazy. <laughs> that does not look, that is not translucent. Stop the game. So I'm gonna finish up my lower lash line. Well, I'm gonna start my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty pencil again, but I'm gonna take obviously the pencil side of it. Wait, but this pencil. Can I drop something else, please? That pencil was actually really creamy and easy and black. So I like that so far. I mean, I have to see how this wears because an issue that I always have is that my, in my inner corner, my eyeliner just like, it likes to go like down here. But so far that was really, really creamy and dark, comfortable, it didn't tug at all and I'm, I'm happy. So far, I am just gonna throw a bunch of eyeshadow on my lower lash line, you know how I do. So I'm gonna take the color Mafia, which is that black shade that we use with a Sigma E15 flat definer brush. You guys know this is like my technique. I don't think I've ever strayed away from it, honestly. So I'm gonna take a another brush as soon as I find one. So I'm gonna take a Morphe E36 brush, which is a very tiny pencil brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Morgan, which is that lighter purple shade that we used, and I'm just going to blend out this black with it. So I'm just gonna keep with that same brush, just wipe it off my pants a little bit. I'm gonna grab Mental, which is the orange, and I'm just gonna put that right underneath. I'm not gonna take the yellow because I feel like I'll just keep adding color until I'm like at my contour, you know, so this is fine. So I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm going to take the color, I guess, muffin. Except I don't know. Hold on. Let me swatch. There are three eyeshadows that are okay, not muffin, that are like contenders. So I wanna make sure I get like a good one and not like, all right, so I can't use like any of these, what the hell? <laughs> so all of the ones that I swatched, these are the ones that I swatched here. Um, I swatched muffin, marine, and minty, and they're all like duochrome shades that have like undertones of different shades. So I just went and grabbed Old Faithful, which if you guys know, then you guys are you, you guys are real. This is Makeup Forever ME122. It's right here. ME122 has been my favorite inner corner highlight for like my entire life. It's so bright. It's so intense. It's the only eyeshadow I've ever even come close to hitting pan on. So that doesn't explain it. I don't know what will. Look how intense that is. I don't have a new mascara to try out because I don't ever try out new mascaras. I don't I don't care personally about mascaras. So I'm just gonna use my same old, but I do have new lashes to try and I am um stupid excited about it. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so this is the Drama Queen set from Lily Lashes. I bought this the other day because I got an email sent to my email i got an email in my inbox saying that these were like on sale or something like that it was like 40 bucks for four pairs of lily lashes mink lashes and like not just like some random ones like these are these so extra mykonos so extra miami caramel and queen so extra mykonos and miami and caramel are like three of my favorite lashes of all time so i was already sold and then queen this is what they look like. So this is Mykonos, so extra, Mykonos Miami, Caramel, and this is Queen. Do you see that lash? So I am gonna try them out. And it says that they're 5D, which like I've never heard of 5D, have you? <laughs> I mean, I've never even heard of 4D, so like what is 5D? So in the meantime, I'm gonna take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is my favorite mascara. Also the only mascara that I have at the moment. Again, I am not, I don't, I don't care about your I don't care about mascara I don't care at all you could come out with like the most revolutionary mascara I'm not gonna care because 
I wear falsies every time I do my makeup anyways, so it doesn't make a difference. These lashes, like even for me, these lashes are big. <laughs> I love dramatic lashes. I mean, like I, you should see some of the lashes in my collection. They are like, you know, they would scare a child, but I love it. I live for these kind of lashes, so I'm excited, but I'm so nervous maybe they're too much maybe there is such thing as too much lash i'm not sure i've never experienced it <laughs> okay it's time it's time it's time i just need a minute alone with my lash okay i do you can you okay okay you know we're just gonna live our lives as drag queens today This is what we're doing. It's a no-go for that, but I will definitely wear them with this look and be happy because it's drama. It's so much drama and I think it's cool. So moving right along, I did pick up two new blushes. I mean, they're the same blush, but they are different shades. So these are the Buxom Wonderlust blushes, primer infused blushes. I picked up two shades. Um, I picked up the shade Ibiza, which is this one, and Goa. Goa. I think I'm going to use Goa because it's just a little bit deeper. It looks more of like a berry shade and Ibiza is just like a little bit more pink. Um, so I'm going to take my Morphe M405 brush, which is just my favorite blush brush at the moment. And all right. So, um, I wasn't ready for that. Why is that, Why is that so bright that's that is so pigmented that is like one of the most pigmented blushes i think i own okay so where's my beauty blender i can't live like this i'm just gonna kind of just go right on top and hope that i stop looking dumb so to contour my nose i'm gonna use my morphe e62 brush it's my favorite nose contour brush ever i believe it came out with the james charles set um, and I'm actually going to go into the eyeshadow palette that we were using and I'm going to take the shade meh. <laughs> I love that name so much. I'm just going to show you really quick. This is meh. Yes, I'm holding this the wrong way, but that's fine. Um, it looks like it would do well on my nose. I don't want to put that Huda Beauty tan tour thing on my nose. I feel like it's going to be way too deep, way too warm, and I don't need... I don't need trouble when it comes to my nose contour. I don't need it. I'm just gonna go for it. That's not really applying very nicely. I mean, it doesn't look, maybe it's cause I have a little pimple right there. That might be it. Because I feel like it's not very Hmm. I don't know. Like, it's a little patchy. Alright, so the verdict is in, and I actually really like this as a nose contour. So I did pick up two new highlighters. These are the Benefit Cookie and Tickle highlighters. Um, I think I swatched Cookie. It's just like a little, oh wow, I'm hungry. So I'm going to swatch both of them because I don't really know. Okay, so this is cookie this looks like um psychotic but so does everything else that we put on our face today that looks like it's gonna be way too light and then tickle is just like it looks a little bit more pink it's kind of getting washed out with everything that's going on over here but it's kind of like a duochrome oh that color is pretty this is tickle on top it's like a duochrome almost like gold and pink i think that one is the one that i'm gonna use cookie just looks like just no it doesn't look good so i'm just gonna take a morphe oh my god can i stop using so many morphe brushes so i'm just taking that and i'm gonna pop it right what the f <laughs> that is so oh my god is this like about to be my favorite highlighter ever that's so that's so nice 
the last thing we have to do is lips i do have a new lip pencil this is the pat mcgrath permagel ultra lip pencil in the shade supernatural this looked on the sephora website like it was going to be the shade of lip pencil that was going to match me the most like as a nude so it's the one that i picked up it's still i swatched it earlier it looks a little light but i guess we'll see <laughs> then i have a couple of options for lipsticks but i'm just going to do this first these are like kathleen light's favorite lip pencils in the entire world and i am like obsessed with the pencils so i was like yeah i'm gonna grab that oh i already can't draw excuse me yeah this is a little it probably doesn't look light for oh what the hell is that <laughs> why do i have butthole lips with no product on i don't get it so i feel like i'm it probably doesn't look that light but for me this is not like the color that i usually gravitate towards like my favorite lip pencil like of all time is kkw beauty's nude 2 so that's like a little bit more of like a darker cool toned lip pencil and i feel like that looks really good on me so that's definitely not my favorite um yeah for sure i feel like if it was a little bit darker i would like it better i'm taking the nude sticks magnetic matte lip color in the shade boho i bought three of these this shade the shade freckle and the shade gray stone but this is the nudest one out of all of them and obviously we have a lot going on live right now so i'm just gonna the lip pencil is actually lighter than this color this color is the best thing that's ever touched my mouth <laughs> i don't even know how to act right now that color is freaking beautiful that might be like the most beautiful nude lipstick in my entire collection that is it for this full face of first impressions this is the final look i do just want to run down and say like my favorite things that i tried out so far and I guess my least favorite things. Um, I would say my favorite things are definitely this tickle highlighter. I I don't even I don't even have the words. Okay, this is this is so stunning, especially if you're my skin tone. I think you must go get this. I did really love the Huda Beauty eyeliner. I think it's really cool, and I freaking love this Nude Sticks Oh Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Boho. This is like the perfect nude lipstick for my skin tone. I am just beside myself. Oh, and of course, the Mama Mitchell palette is so pigmented. I mean, you guys see like I used pretty bright colors on my eyes today and I think that they all performed really well. Yeah, I would say that's like my top four favorite things from today. I liked pretty much everything else. The foundation I feel like is okay. It has like medium coverage, like I said. Um... I'm not greasy yet. Oh, I guess it's possible that this primer that I use from Smashbox is also part of the reason that I'm pretty matte. Like right now my skin pretty much looks matte, which is cool with me. I mean, I love matte foundation, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be super luminous. Yeah, it's literally called the luminous foundation. Oh, the Anastasia powder. I didn't even tell you. I don't like this, actually. This is my least favorite thing in this entire video actually because i feel like it's not translucent at all it left like a little cast and i don't i don't really like it that much that was everything that i tried today so we're done finally we're done this is like the longest video of my life thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know what you guys liked if you thought anything performed better than i thought if i need to give something a second chance before i judge it like Powder. and please leave your video suggestions in the comments below because i mean you guys know i am back okay i am prepared i am ready so any videos that you guys want to see please let me know i have like an entire list going i have so many more that i want to do i have one that i want to do tomorrow one that i want to do the next day and i'm pretty sure one that i want to do that day after that so i am like i'm ready to roll i think that's all i have to say so i will see you guys in my next video bye